His question is asking, build a 3 input NOR gate using a minimum number of CMOS transistors. Now we know that CMOS transistor is a consistent, uh, it consisting of PMOS and NMOS transistors. And if they ask for the NOR gate, you have to put PMOS in series and NMOS in parallels. If they ask for the NAND gate, you have to put PMOS in parallel and NMOS in series. That is opposite to this. But here we are just looking at the NOR gate. So we are going to put, uh, if it's 3 input, we have to put 3 PMOS in series and 3 NMOS in parallel. If they ask for 4 input, you have to put 4 in series and 4 uh, four PMOS in series, 4 NMOS in parallel, like that. Based on the number they are asking for, you have to put that many PMOS and NMOS. So here, uh, this 3 input, we just put 3. So let's go ahead and design the circuit. So here we are going to have 3 PMOS in series. And we can also prove that one using a truth table. Okay, we are designing a NOR gate and uh, we can analyze the behavior the, of this uh, circuit using PMOS and NMOS in a truth table and see if it matches the NOR gate truth table. Okay. Now I'm going to put three NMOS in parallel. You can put it uh, all in one side like this or you can connect as uh, as you want but the only thing you have to consider is it should be parallel that's it Okay, this one connected to the ground and this is VDD and here we are going to have three inputs you can name it as ABC or XYZ it's up to you and for the PMOS we will have a circle at the end like this Okay, let's cause one X, let's cause one Y, let's cause one Z, and let's call this one X, Y, Z. Okay, so as you can see, we have three more PMOS in series and three NMOS in parallel. Um, and uh, the output we are looking at is this, this one sometimes called V0 for the voltage or we are to mention it's a V output or they, they can also say F as well okay and this is our VDD and this is our ground so if there's a connection from VDD to F that means the output is going to be 1 if there's no connection that means the output is going to be 0 so that's all we had to know and uh, in an o, if you remember OR gate truth table for the OR gate to be the output to be 1 at least one one has to be there. It's like addition. Like if you have a bunch of zeros and just one one, it's gonna the output is gonna be one. Or even if you have two one three one, the output is still gonna be one. So if you have if you have at least one one, it's gonna be the output is gonna be one. But that's for the OR gate. But here this is a NOR gate. NOR gate acts exactly opposite to that. If you have one one, that takes that makes the whole thing zero. Okay, so it's exactly the opposite of OR gate. Now next, let's analyze that. So here we have three input, which means two power three. We have, we are going to have eight combinations, and then also the output. So here we say x, y, c, and this is f, and we are going to have eight combinations: zero, 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 one, 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 zero, zero, one, one, zero, zero, one, one. And then 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 um, let's look at the first one first one all of them are 0 which means it's uh, and also you have to know the behavior that PMOS turns on when the input is 0 turns off when the input is 1 okay we can note this one here PMOS 
is on when it's zero off when it's one nmos acts exactly opposite of that nmos is on when it's one and off when it's zero okay so here if you look at this these three are zero which means these two are three are on which means this is going to be short circuited this means this is going to be a wire right here so there's a connection between vdd and f so that's going to turn the out that's going to we are going to have end up end up having output of one and whenever we have a one it's going to be open circuited so for example here x is one here which means this x is open circuited which means there's no connection between vdd and f because this is open circuited there's no connection between this and this vdd so this whole thing is gone just one has to be open and whole thing is gone there's no connection between vdd and f so that's going to turn this one into zero so as you can see if you have a single one that's going to turn the whole thing off and the output is going to be one output is going to be zero because it doesn't matter what happened to this like when it's zero <coughs> this is going to be this is going to be off but uh, it doesn't matter what happened to this. Uh, and here also if you look at the second one uh, when the x is uh, one this x is going to be turned on and short circuited but it's connected to the ground it doesn't make any difference so the only thing you have to look at is do you have a connection between vdd and f if there's a connection that's the output is going to be one if there's no connection the output is going to be zero that's all you have to look at it doesn't matter what happened to this uh, this doesn't impact anything okay so here as you can see if you see single one that's gonna you can automatically see the output is going to be zero like uh, if you can if you analyze again uh, if the y is one this is going to be okay if the y is one this is going to be turned off which means this is open circuited so we lost a connection from x to c uh, this is open circuit so nothing happens therefore this is zero like that if you see single one the whole thing is zero it's going to turn off the system turn off the circuit okay and when all of them are one all of them are open so nothing happens so the only time we are going to get the output of one is when all of them are zero okay uh, yeah, as you can see this is uh, opposite behavior of an OR gate in OR gate um, it's only zero when all of them are zero otherwise it's one but uh, in OR gate it's exactly opposite it's only one when all of them are zero otherwise it's zero okay so you can prove we, therefore we prove that this is the truth this is giving you the truth table of nor gate therefore we designed the truth gate using three input uh, we designed a three input nor gate using cmos transistors and that's it for the video i hope you guys found this video helpful thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe my channel see you guys on my next video